Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for May 1st. After this brief introduction, we will enjoy a previous episode of This Day in History for May 1st, and I'll add pictures to it. Thank you and enjoy. May 1st is the 121st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 122nd in leap years, with 244 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is Apollonian. Apollonian is an adjective that means serene, harmonious, disciplined, well-balanced. This comes after Apollo, the god of music, poetry, prophecy, healing, and more in Greek and Roman mythologies. He's considered the opposite of his brother Dionysius or Dionysus. Earliest documented use of the word Apollonian, 1664. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1707 when the Act of Union, which joined England and Scotland to form the Kingdom of Great Britain. This took place on May 1st of 1707. Josiah Wedgwood founded the Wedgwood Pottery Company in Great Britain on May 1st, 1757. The first official adhesive postage stamp, the Penny Black, was issued in the United Kingdom on May 1st, 1840. This is the birthday of American Frontiers woman and professional scout Calamity Jane, born May 1st, 1856 as Martha Jane Canary. Accounts of her early life are sparse and questionable, as is her tale of how she came to be known as Calamity Jane. She appeared in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show for a time as a storyteller. I, Jane might have been an alcoholic. She sure liked to bend her elbow. She died when she was only 47. This is the birthday of Vincent's little brother, Dutch art dealer Theo Van Gogh, born May 1st, 1857. You know, we hear a lot about Vincent, less about Theo. Theo died about six months after Vincent did, when Theo was only 33. On May 1st, 1866, race riots began in Memphis, Tennessee. Nearly 50 people were killed in these riots, and reports of the atrocities influenced passage of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution. This is the one that addresses citizenship rights and equal protection under the law, and was proposed in response to issues related to former slaves following the American Civil War. On May 1st, 1886, rallies were held throughout the United States demanding an eight-hour workday. This went on actually over the course of a few days, and on May 4th, a riot broke out in the Haymarket Square rally in Chicago. Things got violent, people died, and in the aftermath, May 1st is also recognized as International Workers' Day in many countries. This is the birthday of American astronomer and ufologist J. Allen Hynek, born May 1st, 1910. Best known for his UFO research, he developed the Close Encounter Classification System. He lived to the age of 75. Also the birthday of American novelist, short story writer, and playwright Joseph Heller, born May 1st, 1923. He wrote the book Catch-22, a satire on war and bureaucracy, whose title has become a synonym for an absurd or contradictory choice. Joseph Heller lived to the age of 76. On May 1, 1930, Pluto was the name officially proposed for a newly discovered dwarf planet. The name quickly caught on. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include the link to my blog page. That is called, no, really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.